Andy Mills back with some more tips and tricks for Death Stranding. I'm going to be talking today about the trucks, the bridge trucks. So you unlock them at the distribution center south of Lake Knot City. And by increasing the connection level with that uh, distribution center or distro center, you get level one long range, level two, and level three. And, that, and as it sounds, they just add batteries to the truck. So you get the normal truck, which has a stupid amount of capacity and or cargo capacity. Level one, you're now increasing the battery capacity, so the distance being able to travel. Um, level two increases it even more. Level three increases it even more by a set amount. Um, but it doesn't change the cargo capacity as of with the reverse trike. If you get the reverse trike long range, you then cannot put any cargo onto that um, the blocks where you would hold cargo at. So it doesn't affect cargo space at all. But I want to talk to you guys about the truck defensive, and you get that from the South Knot City um, um, place, and you get it when you have level four connection with them and what the defensive trunk is it actually gives you the same benefit as the armor plate level two it adds a magnetic field so any kind of like bumps or scrapes nothing but nothing about falls but uh it, it adds reduced damage to it so if you're going through a mule encampment and you haven't wiped it out yet or you just want to drive through without worrying about it they can shoot at you you don't have to worry about getting damage but it does take away battery capacity you have, I think you have the same amount of battery capacity as a normal truck. And it also takes away as uh, cargo capacity. But the thing is that these, these trucks can take a stupid amount of cargo. So you don't, you can't even see it. So I already built up a, a truck defensive or defensive truck. And I already filled it up from one of the mule camps, which I cleared in my last video. I cleared out this area and there wasn't a lot of cargo I thought there would be more anyway so I cleared out this mule area and I picked up all the materials and I loaded in my truck as you can see let me open it up and just look at all of this look at all of this look at all of this like what like what look at all that material look at all that material and some equipment that I just picked up but a lot of people want me to point out that that bar on the uh, on the right side of the ba the back of the truck, those lights is the capacities, the cargo capacity, the the trunk capacity of the of the actual truck itself. So that's how you know you're getting close to filling it up. And as you can see, with all this stuff, all this stuff. Now, I wouldn't recommend um, farming that mule encampment because, as you can see, one they shoot, so it's a lot more effort than it's worth. But it's not a really wide variety. Special ally, I mean. You don't really need it that much if you're going to be building um, roads, but whatever. You have some ceramic, you have some metal, whatever, whatever. You can put any any amount of cargo if you're trying to do trips, big trips, big hauls, things like that. But as you can see, I'm not even halfway there. So they hold a stupid amount. But what I'm going to show off is the actual defensive aspect of this truck. Since I'm sure most of you already know the benefits of the truck and I just walked through it a little bit. So the, to get the full, I'm just gonna preface this, to get the full benef benefits of a truck, build the roads, build the roads ASAP, use the bridge trucks, farm those other mule campments that I've talked about in my other video. But if you haven't watched that video, um, I'll just show you right now on the map. These three encampments up here, these one, two, three are where you wanna go for, um, for materials. This one is metal, this one's ceramic, this one's uh, special alloy. In that order, this has this always has metal. This always has ceramic. This always has special alloy. So that's where you want to go. They'll have a little bit of other other things, but that's not, you know, that's not what you want to go there to farm. So I'm just gonna drive through this area. This is a shooting area. The mules that have guns. I'm gonna drive my defensive truck through here and just try to get some aggro. And that's I just want to show you that they don't do that much damage, or show you the effect of them shooting you and your battery capacity going down. And that's pretty much what I'm all I'm gonna go over for this um, for this video. We're gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna drive away. You see those capacitors on the side? That's for the actual um, defensive aspect of this vehicle. I'm gonna wait for myself to get onto the road before I start boosting because I don't wanna I don't wanna waste battery before then. Because as I've said, described in another video, you actually get the the energy 
efficiency or to not use your battery, you have to stay in the light gray area on the road. So if I move over here, I'm not on the, I'm not charging anymore. No longer on power grid. The, it happened before I, I got off the road, but all right. So I just want to plot it a little bit. I know where I'm going. I'm just driving into the driving into the woods. And I'm a, I'm going to refuse from boosting, so I don't use up my battery, so I can show how much uh, damage I can take actually. And I actually haven't farmed this mule encampment, uh, and I don't think I'll show that in this video because I've showed enough of clearing mule encampments, and it can take a little bit of time, and I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that. And excuse my voice in my last couple of videos, I haven't been recording a lot because I've been sick. I'm, I'm just coming off of my cold, so I sound a little, a little nasally. Alright, I aggro them. Alright. Do they see me? I'm just a floating little corpse. Where are they? There's one guy. Did you can see like the shields a little bit? And you can see my battery going down. You see that? But, oh wow, it's going down actually pretty fast. <laughs> but, let me see what happens if I just go into this area. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to talk about. Is that this vehicle is actually... It's... it's is resistant to any stun attacks, electrical attacks, doesn't affect it. I could drive right through it. Whereas the other trucks, you would get stunned and you would be fucked. I guess I could literally stay in stuff like this, get aggro by all of them, and nothing will happen. See, roll over electricity. Nothing happens. Keep throwing it at me, right on top of me. Nothing happens. But yeah, I just want to show that. Okay, so they broke my windshield, so. Obviously, the, sh uh, the electricity from that is going to shock Sam. But that's really what I want to show you guys, that it it affects you a lot. Oh, I just noticed one thing. I want them to hit me with an, uh, a stun grenade right now outside of the battery or outside of the generator field. So you can see how fast... Where it is, it is pretty OP, but it does drain you of all your, of your battery. Oh. Come on, somebody throw something at me. Throw it at me. Turn grenade. He's doing it. See, look how fast it, look how fast it does it to you. It, it drains your battery. So, it is, it is very, very OP if you're just trying to run through a section, but... You can obviously see the downside of, of it actually draining the crap out of your battery. So you, the downside is you take a lot of damage, you pull out of aggro, your battery goes out, you're just stuck in waters. You know, you're, you're in dead water. You're dead in the water, excuse me. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to show in this video. If you liked it, please leave a like on this video. If you have any feedback or comments, just leave it down in the comment section below. If you're not a subscriber on this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, and I will be making more content as I figure it out and find new stuff to show off. Thank you very much, guys. Um, and have a great night.